Unlocking the English Calendar, Describing Events and Appointments Hello and welcome back to our series on Learning English. Today, we are delving into the world of calendars. Specifically, we'll be talking about how to describe events and appointments in English. Understanding and using the correct calendar vocabulary and expressions will not only improve your English but also help you navigate your day-to-day -day life more efficiently. Let's get started. Before we dive into expressions, it's important to familiarize ourselves with some basic vocabulary associated with calendars. Words like day, week, month, and year are fairly straightforward, but what about fortnight, which means two weeks, or quarter, which is a period of three months? Another important aspect of calendar vocabulary is understanding the terms used for different parts of the day. We use terms like morning, afternoon, evening, and night to describe different times of the day. When it comes to describing events, we often use the following structures. 1. The event plus is, was, will be plus, on, at, plus time, place. Example. The meeting is at 10 a.m. 2. The event plus takes, took, will take plus place plus, on, at, plus time, place. Example. The party will take place on Friday evening. For recurring events, we often use phrases like every, day, week, month, year, once, twice, thrice a day, week, month, year, or every other day, week, month. When scheduling appointments, we often use these structures. 1. I have plus an appointment, meeting plus, with plus person, plus, on, at, plus time, place. Example. I have a meeting with the manager at 11 a.m. 2. I am plus verb, ing, plus, with plus person, plus, on, at, plus time, place. Example. I am meeting with a client on Tuesday. Remember, when talking about future appointments, it's common to use the present continuous tense, e.g., I am meeting. Sometimes, appointments need to be changed or canceled. Here are a few expressions to use. 1. I need to plus reschedule, postpone plus the event, appointment. Example. I need to reschedule the meeting. 2. I have to plus cancel plus the event, appointment. Example. I have to cancel my dentist appointment. And there you have it. We've gone through some of the most essential calendar vocabulary and expressions to describe events and appointments. With practice, these will soon become a natural part of your English speaking and writing. Remember, the key to mastering any new language skill is practice, practice, practice. Until next time, keep exploring English and expanding your skills.